Narcan is actually a drug that we can administer in a variety of different ways. We can give it uh, intranasally through an atomizer device. We can give it intravenously, intramuscularly, and even intraosseously, which we can do after we drill into the bone to gain vascular access. So we can be given always, um, and depending on the situation, de the si it's situation dependent on which one we'll use. If you're in a cardiac arrest situation and you already have the, the bone line ready to go, we'll use that. Uh, if not, I'll try to put in an IV because you can give a more controlled dose that way. Um, our last resort is what the public uses and they just go straight to the note uh, intranasally. So it's not that it's less effective, it's that it has a longer timetable for it to start working. Um, the, the drug gets absorbed through the mucous membranes uh, within the nostrils and the sinuses. So the, that absorption does take a few seconds. It is very quick. Um, they say the maximum time of effectiveness is about five minutes intranasally. Um, whereas IV, it's personally I've seen 20 to 30 seconds it works in. Um, and like I said, if you give it intranasally, you have to give one milligram in each, each nostril for a total of two milligrams. Whereas if I started I, I, intravenously, I can titrate, start at a smaller dose and titrate up. So I can give 0.4 milligrams and then if they still haven't come around yet or they're starting to come around, I can just give a little bit more instead of the whole full two. Uh, and again, that's situation dependent.